Hey, it's Monday again. Happy Monday. I'm off to make a video, I hope. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. It'll definitely need a voiceover. I know that much. Um, because I'm going to Bath and Body Works, which I haven't been there in forever. I always get Bath and Body Works and Bed Bath and Beyond mixed up. Normally I'll say one, I mean one, but then I say the other. Bed Bath and Beyond, now they went through, didn't they go through a bankruptcy or something? I know we used to have several locations here in Greensboro, and I know at least a couple of them closed. I don't know if they all did, but yeah, I know we definitely don't have all the locations we had before. And I don't get those $5 off coupons in the mail anymore either. It used to be every now and then I'd get, I'd get something in the mail from them. You know, $5 off any purchase of what was it? Was it $25 or more? I don't know. I never used it. I just, I don't know. I hardly ever found anything in there I wanted. I get, you know, I don't need any of this stuff. So I'm gonna go to Bath and Body Works. That's where I used to get my lip stuff by C.O. Bigelow Cinnamon Menthol Lip Shine. And then they quit carrying the one I wanted. They have the, the lip tint, but that's, it's not the same thing. Um, but then they started, they made it for C.O. Bigelow and then they stopped making it for a while and then they started making it again. I order it online. You know, usually if you order it online, you can get it you buy like three or four tubes you can get free shipping and you know it it just works I usually buy like 10 tubes of it at a time because I use it every single day I have one in my car I have one in my purse one in my room one downstairs by my desk my little computer down there um because I just I use it all day long that's all I ever use I've been using it for years I love it it's my favorite I, I don't ever want to use anything else so that's one of the items if I ended up on a desert island what I want it I want I want about 20 tubes of that stuff with me because I'll go crazy if I don't have it I'm kind of addicted to it so anyway um, we're gonna go to Bath and Body Works there's always loud music in there I'll probably come out with a headache from all the damn fragrances but I suffer from my art there's a glitch of the matrix. Two blue RAV4s <laughs> sitting at the stoplight. Yeah, it's funny. Anyway, I suffer for my art. That's why it's insulting when somebody contacts me to make, you know, like they think I'm on OnlyFans or something. Like, hey, um, and they'll say two things. It's always a guy and they'll say one of two things first. They'll either say, I have money and I'm willing to pay that's the first thing they say, or they'll say, look, I'm not, I'm not a pervert, okay? I'm not, I'm not a weirdo, like, uh-huh. What are you about to ask me? I have mo I have money, I have money. I, I don't care, what, what do you want, what do you want? I want you to make a video just for me, private video, like, it's insulting, I'm sorry, what, it, Nothing against people who do. If you want to do that, that's cool. But what about me makes you think that I do that? Have I, really? I had somebody contact with me, contact me about something similar to that just this morning on Patreon. I'm sorry. There are plenty of people out there who will make the video you want, okay? I'm not your girl. I'm not going to do it. And again, I have absolutely no problem if you want to make whatever kind of videos you want to make. It is do do your own thing. I am I'm a big advocate of of live and let live. Do your own thing. But and then a lot of them will pull the old, "Hey, I contribute to your Patreon." I know and I appreciate your $2 a month. I really do. But what about that makes you think you're entitled to the video that you're asking for? Honey, that is not how this works. Again, they're, they're, go to OnlyFans. You can find somebody that'll make your video for you. I guarantee you will. I'm not your girl. I'm not. But if some of them will get mad. Most of them just go away. They don't say anything else. Some of them, some of them get, they take exception to that. Excuse me. Excuse me, maybe you didn't notice. Uh, I contribute to your Patreon. 
I've been a contributor now for two months. You've given me $4. Thank you. I, I do appreciate you $4, but that does not entitle you to that video you just requested. No, you're not entitled to that. <laughs> I give you $4 back if you don't feel comfortable, but uh, no, honey, no. Uh-uh. But I wouldn't do your video for any amount of money because I'm just not interested in doing that. I have no problem with people who do. Personally, I'm not interested in doing that. I tap on things and I whisper and occasionally I do a character. That's what I'm interested in doing. I'm going to fill my car up while I'm going by here. That's, uh, unless there's a line. Is there? Oh, shit. There's not a line. I can pull right up. Look at me. I got like a half a tank, but my dad, my trip to my dad's house last Friday kind of depleted my supply. Oh, front pump is temporarily out of order. But I can do, I can do the back pump. The back pump is fine. Yeah, the back pump is good. I won't use the front pump. It's out of order. Sorry, out of service. All right, I won't touch it. I'll be right back. Hang on a minute. Well, shoot. Okay, I just filled up. I just saw that they're they're going to expand this gas station. They're going to be closed April 10th. They're going to be closed for about five days so they can expand the gas station. That's pretty cool. That would be good because I'm telling you what, you come by here later in the day and the line is just backed up to yonder. I, I bet, yeah, they've got a bunch of stuff out here. I bet they're going that way with it. I bet they're going to take this part of the parking lot. Yeah, I bet that's exactly what they're going to do. Got all these carts lined up out here. I bet they're going to take this back part of the parking lot. It's usually empty back here this far back anyway. I mean, hell, they could do that. Well, that's great. I'm glad to hear it. I have thought for a while that they could really do with a few more gas pumps out here, so. Cool. That is cool. Okay. My headache all of a sudden. I, I get nervous when that happens. Just all of a sudden I develop pain. <sighs> so, I'm going to try... So, yeah, anyway, I, I, I've gotten messages, I've gotten emails and, and Patreon messages for years like that, and it always starts out with either I have money or, look, I'm not a pervert, but, yeah, okay, you about to say something perverted, which is fine, you can say all the perverted stuff you want, but I'm not, I'm not going to make a video for you, I'm, no. Hey, do you do private, or they'll ask, do you do private videos? Yeah, if you want to wish your grandma a happy birthday, I'll make a little clip and say happy birthday, grandma. But I have a feeling that's not what you were asking me, was it? That's the only kind of private videos I do, honey. I've had people contact me like, look, my significant other, my sister, brother, whoever is a big fan, their birthday's coming up. Can you just do a little video saying happy birthday? And I'm happy to do that. I'm absolutely, I do that all the time. It is no problem. That's as far as I go doing private videos. Um, I have always wanted my videos to be free and available to everyone. I don't put any of them behind a paywall. I, 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 I wouldn't do that. I, I always wanted them to be available for everybody. And Patreon was always just a thing. And I never even pushed it before. I do now. But, um... It was the kind of thing where if you want to, like, I'm, you know, somebody's playing music on the street and they have their guitar case open. You want to flip a, a, a dollar in there or a few coins, you know, I appreciate that. But you don't have to, you know, it's, it's, it's optional. Everybody can listen for free if you feel like contributing. You know, that's, that's awesome. That's the way I've always done it. That's the way I want to do it. I don't want people to have to pay to watch any of my videos. And I don't, I'm not going to change that. Because some, some of the people on Patreon have said, you know, look, you really ought to do exclusive content just for us. And I hear you. I hear you. But if, I mean, like exclusive, like different of, types of things. No, no. The same kind of videos you put on YouTube just for us. But what... What does it matter if other people have seen it? It's not like they're going to wear it out before you get a chance to watch it. 
and it's not like they're gonna it's a VHS tape and they're gonna forget to rewind it before they return it to the blockbuster how does it impact you if other people watch it you know what I mean and uh, I did a video just for patreon what a week ago only 30 people watched it so even when I do exclusive videos very very few people watch them you know what do you hear what I'm saying like nobody they don't seem to care I guess if I did it more often it and it was just a video explaining the whole situation with Google and everything um, I, I think a, a total of maybe 30 people watched that video so yeah but again maybe if I did it more often more people would watch but I don't want to do that anyway. I, I always wanted everything to be available to everybody. And if you want to contribute a dollar or two, I really do appreciate it. You don't have to, but, you know, I do appreciate it. It does help. I don't know. Anyway, I, uh, I am seriously looking for a full-time job. It does look like that's what's going to happen. It's going to be a huge change in my life. My everyday life is going to drastically change. And I don't know how many videos I'll make anymore. I, I honestly, having to make two a day is hard. It take it ends up some days taking up a big chunk of my day. And I'm doing it. I'm having to do it seven days a week because my ad revenue continues to fall. I have to do it seven days a week just to make enough to pay my bills. And it's very stressful. And I will just tell you, I have about reached the point where I don't even enjoy it anymore. I don't even. I don't even want to do it anymore. And I always said if I ever reached that point, I would change, I, something would have to change. I would either make fewer videos or just stop. If I ever get to the point that, is, that I don't enjoy it anymore, yeah, something's got to change. So, yeah, it'll be a big, it'll be a big uh, change. But that's okay. I mean, that's part of life. You know, we all have to make adjustments. We all have to, just, you know, we all have to make decisions and do things. Because things things always change and you have to adapt to that it's just part of life and honestly you know I don't see ad revenue coming back up anytime soon I mean in your opinion with the with the, the way things are going with the economy do you honestly think that a year from now these companies will have more money to spend on ads than they do now or do you think they'll have less or do you think it'll stay the same I think they'll have less I don't see it getting any better because the average person in this country right now, you know, they're having to pay so much just for basics, they're cutting out a lot of unnecessary spending. I know Amazon has cut way back. They've laid a bunch of people off. Facebook, Amazon, Walmart, all these companies, all these companies are letting people go. They're downsizing because people just aren't spending the money they were just a year or two ago. So I don't imagine that the ad revenue is going to get better in the next year. If anything, it will continue to drop. And I think a lot of creators are going to be faced with the same situation, the same dilemma that I'm faced with. Do I stick with it? Do I try to find other ways to make money? Or do I just go get a real job? <laughs> I would rather just go get a real job. I would honestly, it's a lot less stress on me. I don't have the stress of constantly worrying about, you know, oh, what's my what's my revenue going to look like tomorrow? What's going to happen next week? What What's Google going to say? I still haven't heard from them. It's three weeks today I've been waiting to hear from them. I've heard absolutely nothing beyond, we'll just keep waiting. We'll get to you when we get to you. That's all they tell me. Can't help you. Sorry. You just got to wait. I would rather just go get a damn j day job and just not have to worry about this shit anymore. I, I don't, I really am getting to where I don't enjoy it. The stress of it, having to create, create, create 14 videos a week, seven for this, 21 videos a week. I, I don't enjoy it anymore. I, I tell you, I, I thought about it this morning. Like I, I don't enjoy this. It's giving me headaches. I'm still not sleeping at night. I am a mess. So, fuck it. I'll just go get. A, I'll just go get a day job. Just fuck it. I don't care anymore. 
So fuck Google, fuck AdSense, fuck them all. They can keep my ad revenue. They can't keep my sanity. I will not let them have my sanity. I mean, all that ad revenue of mine that they've kept, I'll never get it back. I won't be compensated for the money they've kept. It's just, it's gone. I will never get that money. They just, they get to keep it because they said I have invalid traffic. So all the ads on my channel, yeah, they just keep that money. I, I, I will never, I will never see a penny of it, the money they kept. I don't mean to be so irritable. I just, I'm, I'm sick. I'm sick of this. So I'm going to Bath and Body Works and I'm going to look at lotion and shit and all the pretty colors. Are they open? Why does it look so dark in there? They're open. It just looks really dark in there for some reason. I hope they don't harass the hell out of me. You know, sometimes you go in these stores and they won't let you shop. They will not let you shop. They just follow you around. Everything you touch, they have to talk about it. Oh, I love that one. Oh, have you tried this one? Like, lady, look, I appreciate you doing your job, but will you please just let me shop? I will let you know if I need anything. You can already hear the music. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to go in there and make a video, and I will do a voiceover for it when I get home. And I will put them all together, and it will be fine. But, I honestly, I am at the point now where I look forward to just going to a job and doing it and not feeling like shit. Not stressing about it. I still have money. I have all my money in savings. I'm trying not to touch it. I'm trying not to touch it. A big chunk of it is going for my taxes, but I still have some money left. I'm trying to leave it alone. But I don't want to feel like shit anymore. That was not the purpose of this channel, to feel like shit. And I'm not going to let it turn me into a person who feels like shit. And I don't want to cry my makeup off, so I'm going to shut up now. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate you. I hope you have a better day than I am having, and I will see you later.